Welcome to Big D's and Liam's Custom Garage. I'm Liam, Big D's behind the camera. Today we're working on finishing up the CB insula installation. Um, we're going to be uh, stringing, finishing stringing the coax through a grommet underneath the floor here. And we're going to be running the CB off this little piece of metal um, trim that goes on the side of the vehicle here. We're going to be drilling a hole and starting installing the CB antenna right about there. So it'll, it'll go above the top of the vehicle so it'll, it'll work just fine. And we're also going to be running our marine wire. Um, we're going to be running two of these from the front of the vehicle up to this area right here. So we can uh, install our lights on top of the vehicle. All right, that's pretty much uh, what we're gonna be doing today. We might throw some other stuff in there, but uh, we'll see about that. Let's get on with the work. Okay, we're here. We have the coax here all strung from the front. Time to finish this up. So let's peel this back. All right, here's the grommet. What we're gonna do is gonna take a razor. We're just gonna make an exit. Make an excess hole. Because it's a pretty big end for the coax, so we're gonna have to pretty much use the whole grommet for mm -hmm. just this. Yeah, you, you cut, uh, basically you cut a slit in it, and then for where the wire is going through after, you can sometimes cut like a really small, uh, cross slit like an X type pattern and it will cause just enough of a relief for the rub for the hose to go or the hose for the cable to go through. Okay I see I got it through easy peasy just cut an X on the on the grommet. Now we're uh, probably gonna use at least one zip tie like right about there there's a little hole in the frame you can't see it on the camera but it's there. Yeah. And then we're just gonna now, on these, we have decided that um, for attaching to the frame, instead of using traditional zip ties, we're going to use metal ties because they will not dry rot and break like plastic zip ties do. Okay, we're ready to drill our hole. Right, I'm going to try to go far away from first way I can from anything. And try not to block any view of the tail light. Which is difficult. So, there's a bracket, see there's a bracket right there I'm going to try to avoid. So I'm just going to pick the best options. That's why I'm trying to avoid this bracket so that would fit underneath. Yes. It's kind of at an angle, but we'll see if we can remedy that. And I think the grommet goes like that. Yes, grommet, the grommet goes uh, top and bottom of the metal. So it does, basically it's keeping the metal that you're going through from acting like a ground. It's almost like an isolator. Probably should have got out a couple Japanese fiddles, but we'll get yeah, it. Yeah, we'll get it, dude. We'll figure it out. Tighten everything, tighten everything up as much as you can by hand. Kind of have it at an angle. But it'll work for now. It's temporary now. 
There we go. Let's get one of these out. We'll get that Comex secured to the frame so it doesn't go all loosey goosey on this and fly over the place. Get this hooked in the way I want it. Um, I want it above the exhaust hanger. Um, that's also why we're, we're going to do this using the zip ties because there's an exhaust pipe right there. Can you hear that? So this is very needed in this area. There we go. That one's on there. Gonna get it hooked in. Having it angled like that's good, having it out away from the body, mm -hmm. so you're not getting like static interference. Yeah. All right, we got the coax through the grommet, and we got the the antenna drilled and mounted. Now we're going to move on to the uh, wiring for the top lines. So we'll be back in just a moment. Everybody. We're back here. We had to cut from the other scene because we were doing wiring underneath the dash here. So I got uh, two more wires wired in and you can see the coat see the wire coming down the side here and then disappearing underneath the carpet. It goes and you kind of see it peeking out underneath there. But it goes underneath in the passenger area here. And there you go. There, it's you can see it like peeking the white peeking over there and it goes all the way up and start going back here now we're going to start uh putting the putting the wire over at the top of this hump and getting it back in between behind the side panel so uh let me put this camera down on a stand and we'll get to that Well, welcome back everybody. As you just saw, we got pretty much everything ran. Yeah. Uh, we got the two wires from the front all the way up to, um, all the way to the back here. As you can see on both sides, got them run in the middle. Oh, no one, yeah. Middle. And then uh, we also have the antenna over there all working. Mm -hmm. Not moving around too much. Yeah, yeah, you guys are probably like, it's all leaning out and looking funny, but it's for a purpose. It clears the door when yeah. you open and close it, having it like that. So it's actually have a good thing having it angled. Um, but yeah, we got it all hooked up. It's working. We've tested it. Uh, the lights. Next, what are we doing? We're pretty much going to drill through here, right? Yeah, we're going to drill through. We're going to get some grommets. We're going to make them all waterproof and everything like that. Put the waterproof, waterproof kit disc, quick disconnects. Like we did on the front. Oh, like we did on the front. Wire up the top rack with the lights and everything like that, and then get that all functional. Um, that's the goal for next week. And then all after that, um, it's all bumpers, front and back. Um, weeks after that, yes. we're gonna start working on those. Yes. Now I don't know if you guys are gonna see it on camera or not. I'm gonna. We might do a little kind of patching in the next video, next week's video, but. Um, I'm going to be doing the wheel bearings on Project Apocalypse, and let them know why. Um, that seal that we re that we replaced before um, seems like um, I should have replaced the bearings at the same time because it blew all the grease out of the bearings, and the bearings have been running dry since. 
Now it's vibrating and blew out the seal again. Yeah, it so, seems to be a Toyota thing from yeah. the research that Liam yeah. did. If it, the if the if the if the seal, seal goes, goes replace the bearings because it blows out the blows out the grease in the bearings. Yeah. And it, yeah. Yeah. So that's, you have that's to very, do very very much needed. Yeah, for, you, to, for the bearings to have grease in them. Yeah, you have to do both at the same time. So, so we're going to go through. Um, I think we're going to do just that one side. Yeah. Because this side seems to be fine. We're just going to do that one side. And then we're going to replace the bearings on the front because yeah. it's something we should have done while we had the spindles free. And we didn't. No, like I said, I'll do some recording of it and we'll try to kind of pepper it into next week's video here and there. But yeah, yeah that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing on the side this week is trying to get these wheel bearings fixed and taken care of why Liam's at work and driving the Miata for a week right. which isn't a bad thing no, no <laughs> it's fun I, I'm, I'm having fun driving it again I, I missed it kind of and so, we're uh, starting to get close to the weather to where you could take the top back off again exactly too. that's what I'm waiting for that's pretty much it for this week be sure to like subscribe and hit the bell notification on the top of the screen and we will see you guys right back here next week I'm Big D. And I'm Liam. And we're out.